Hi, welcome to another video of Jogto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about the character device driver and how to build it with Yocto using out of tree module technique. So in this video, we are going to cover what is a character device driver or a module, what are character device driver file operations, how to integrate it with Yocto build, how to load and test character device driver module and checking the logs using team message. Before we go further, please like and subscribe my channel so you can get the latest update of my videos. So now let us begin. So a character device driver is a driver that uses that, that sends and receives a character, uh, a byte or a data. For example, a keyboard, a mouse, a screen, any input output devices, they all are character devices. So beside the character devices, there are block devices that are memory devices, for example, our hard drive, uh, our USB stick, memory cards, and so on. But here we are learning about the character devices. So before we go further, so this is the continuation of my previous video, uh, out of device tree module. So uh, here, if you don't know, uh, how do we get uh, these files? First of all, let me show you the tree of my tap module tap take a byte module so here we have first of all a recipe file then inside these files we have this C program our module code then we have make file so let us see our tab module I didn't write this whole uh, tab module but I copied it from the Metaskeleton recipe of Pokey. If you don't know how it works, please watch my previous video. Then I just replaced here the name of the tab module.c and then in make file I also just replaced this thing and everything remains the same. This is the interesting part. This is our module. So what we are doing in this tab module? So I haven't written it, I just uh, took it from the internet and let me explain it further. So here what we have is first of all we have uh, some functions that our module will do so here's the init function See, these all are the prototypes this is the init function when we load our module the exit function when we unload our module the open function when we open the file like we have a files in device in dev folder you will see to access the driver then we have a release when we close the file then we will read when we read that file and write when we write inside that file and here you can also see that we have a memory size so we are reading and writing 1024 bytes memory size furthermore here is the file operator file operations uh, structure so here we are mapping our these functions to the file operation of the Linux kernel just like that then we have our here open function so this function just opens the file to read and write and here when we open when this function is called uh, this function is called during the read and write if you want to read first of all this function will be called then our driver or our kernel will read the file and then this release will be called so whenever we read the function uh, when whenever whenever the open function is called the it will print this and whenever it is closed then it will print this and here in the read function if we read the data so here you are using function copy to user so we here we have a kernel buffer and a buffer so this buffer is actually uh, the output buffer and this is the kernel buffer so we are copying from the data from the kernel space to the user space so this is the user space this is the kernel space and this is the memory size that we have uh, 1024 bytes so we are what, uh, what we are doing actually is we are copying the data from this kernel to our user and displaying that and it returns uh, the memory size of the data that we need then here we have a write and write we do opposite copy from user so here we are copying the buffer of the user buffer to the kernel buffer that is length how much data are we copying then there is our init function so in init function first of all we allocate the major and minor number the major number is the number of the driver uh, it is allocated to a driver it is uh, one the a driver will have 
the it will be individual for all driver it will be unique uh, for all drivers it's called the major number and there is also a minor number minor number is the instances how many instances of the driver we have then we are creating a our character device structure and we are linking it with our file operations that we have here these file operations yeah and uh, here we are doing some error checking if we cannot create and so on then we are creating a structure class for our structure and creating a device then the device will be called the tab device you will see inside our dev folder then we are allocating the memory the kernel and this is the initial word it's just like the hello word this is the default uh, data that we are copying inside the kernel buffer and the device will be inserted in like this if uh, anything fails then there is some fallback that it will go to these functions here like that this is when we load the kernel or module here is when we unload the module so it will do all the opposite things it will first of all destroy the device class uh, device then it will destroy the class and it will delete this uh, cdev structure then it will unregister the from the major and minor number and then it will be successfully removed and here it is we have to tell the, the, the kernel that this function is our init function and this function is our exit function just like that so this is about the device driver character device driver so now how to integrate it it's simple you just copy it from uh, just watch my previous video about that how to integrate it we have just created this bb layer file uh, recipe file and then we just put it inside this image tab module we can also do it other way i will show in the upcoming video but with some different topic not this uh, kernel module kernel development topic but we'll do some other topic but yeah so now what we'll do is we'll go to our build and what we'll do is we'll do bit bake bit bake core image full command line so let me first of all Okay, let me save it and then we'll build it. So while it is building, it will take a while, I guess. So the device, uh, our image has been built. Uh, one more thing that I would like to say is that this is not the tutorial about how to write a character device driver or how to write the kernel driver that's why I didn't go into the detail uh, yeah you can refer to other tutorials or you can refer to other websites where it explains how this uh, works so now let me connect it to Beagle Moon Black and then we will load and test the driver so uh, now we are inside Beagle Moon Black and now first of all let us check uh, the location where our driver is uh, our module is so it is uh, inside lib uh, modules and here our kernel and here inside extra so if you see here it is here tab module dot q so now uh, we are back and what we'll do is first of all let us check D message the end message of D message so the last message right now is the system D message now let us let us clear this and now let us insert the module using mode probe mode probe tab module so it has been inserted successfully now let us check once more and you see that this time if you go into a C code okay so says our inside what is our inside in it it says major number is here the minor number is here and the other print is device driver inserted insert done so it is here device driver insert done so this is the first step that we checked now what we will do is we will 
check is it inside our dev so we will go cd dev and here if we check we have this tab device driver so now what we will do is we will write something inside it so what we will write we will write using echo echo this is a test and then we will echo it inside dev tab device so it has been done and now let us check once more and you see that it says now device file opened write done device file closed so now we have successfully opened and written into the device and then the file has been closed now let us read it so reading using cat we'll do cat dev tab and here we will do head and uh, first line only one so here we wrote we read what we have already given so it is this is a test so now let us check the d message once more and you see that opened device file open read done read done and device file closed so it is successfully read so now let us write once more subscribe take a write and then done and now we will read again it says subscribe take a write and now let's check once more the tail so it is again opened write closed opened read closed so this is how we integrate the character device module inside our Yocto kernel so I hope you like the video please like and subscribe my channel and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching